You look like a Christmas present. <laughs> Hi guys! Hi. So me and Lil's are back. We're gonna be doing some cheer hair for you guys. We saw the show on Netflix and we literally could not wait to get these bows into our hair. All right guys, so this is gonna be very quick and very, very easy. So we're gonna start with our hair nice and smooth like this. And right at the arch of my eyebrow, I'm gonna create two sections going straight back like so. And you see how it's like going on an angle up? You don't want that. You want it to be going completely horizontal. And you can go in with a tail comb if you like, but I'm just gonna use my fingers because I want this to be very nice and quick. So now you can see the section is nice and straight. And we're gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. We're just gonna make sure our section is nice and straight. And you wanna create a ponytail right at the top of your head for this. and tie it with an elastic, nice and tight. And then now, just for some added volume in our ponytail, I'm gonna split the ponytail up into three or four sections, starting from the back here. And we're gonna start teasing it just right at the root. So you're gonna grab your comb, and right at the center of the section, you're just gonna lightly drag it down and you just want it to keep it light and fluffy and you're going to do that just a couple of times when you once you get that cushion in there you're going to drop it so now we're going to grab another section and we're going to go right in the center and we're going to fluff it down two times not too tight and we're going to drop it again and you're just going to quickly fluff this one out and we're going to drop it all right so now we're left with this ponytail that's like all frizzy and funky so you're basically just going to grab a hold of it right at the base and you're gonna take your comb and instead of going in straight, you're gonna actually lay your comb flat like this, okay? That's how we're gonna kind of stroke it just on the side of our comb. I'm holding it up at the base so that I don't lose the shape that I've just created. And there we go. We have this nice voluminous ponytail. So we're gonna go ahead and create just a little bit more volume. We're gonna push our ponytail to the side or to the front like so. We're gonna hold them up like so, and we're gonna go in at the center. We're gonna just kind of drag it down slightly, creating some volume right at the roots. Okay, and then you're just gonna drop it. And this all depends on how much hair that you have. Um, you can do one or two sections, and some of you guys might need more depending on how much hair you have. And you can see that we have this nice little poof happening. So again, I'm just gonna grab the side of the comb again and we're just going to very lightly brush it out. Just the outside layer. We're just smoothing it out like so, and I'm not going in too aggressively. And that's more than enough to kind of blend all of the teasing in with the hair that's nice and sleek. And now we're gonna go ahead and put in our big old cheer bows. So these come in clips like so. I found these bows off of Amazon and I will leave the link down below for you guys. If you don't have these bows, you can just use a ribbon that you have lying around at home. It'll work just as fine. Um, but I made the investment into these because I have two young daughters and these are like super fun, I think. How cute! This. I love it. Okay, so this is what we're gonna leave it at as our first um, look. Okay, so you guys can leave your hair straight just like this. I see them in the show wearing it straight quite a bit. Uh, but what caught my eye in wanting to do this tutorial is the waves that they create with it. I think it looks super, super cute and it's incredibly easy. So we're gonna go ahead and grab a one inch wand. And as you're wrapping it around the wand, you're gonna give it a gentle twist and you're just gonna hold the ends out. And you're gonna let it sit like this for a couple of seconds. And a little trick to know when the section is done is basically you just wanna tap on the hair. And when it feels like it's too hot to touch, um, that's when you know it's done. Um, so we're just gonna drop it and kind of leave it in our hand like so and hold it for just a couple of seconds so it cools down. If your hair uh, doesn't hold curl really well, at this point you wanna uh, spray in some hairspray, maybe a light hold or something, um, just so it stays in longer and that's gonna be our waves. 
So now for our next section, we're gonna curl this one forward. So same concept, we're gonna go right in at the base and wrap it once and then just kind of twist it um, until we get to the end, hold the ends out. And when the section gets too hot to touch, we're just gonna drop it. We're gonna hold it in our hand for a couple of seconds, let it cool down, and then we're gonna let it go. I just love how like Southern and Texan it is. Um, so a lot of you guys don't know this about me, but I actually grew up in the Southern States. So when I saw this hairstyle, I was like, this is just like bringing me back to my roots, you know? All right, so this side is all done nice and quick. So now we're gonna start on this side. And again, we're just gonna take small sections. And we're gonna take the wand and we're gonna go right in at the base and you're gonna twist it as you wrap it all the way down. And you wanna get it nice and close to the base without touching your scalp. And you're gonna hold the ends for a few seconds and right when it gets too hot to touch, that's when you know it's ready and you're just gonna let it go. I'm just gonna hold it in your hands for a couple of seconds and then just drop it. And as you're curling, make sure you guys don't um, take out all of that teasing that you created in the crown. And now we're just gonna go ahead and grab the ponytail and you're gonna wanna curl it as high up as possible and you wanna curl it under. Um, and this is gonna give you the most amount of volume in your uh, ponytail area as possible. Oh my God, I look so Southern. My Southern accent's gonna come back after this. For the duration of this tutorial, I'm just gonna be like, hi y'all. We're just gonna shake it out at this point. Um, you don't wanna shake, shake too hard because you wanna maintain most of this texture. Touch up our teasing just slightly and very roughly just to get it Nice and tight back in there. What y'all think? Do I look like Gabby Butler? <laughs> and on our mini cheerleader here, I'm doing the same exact routine, except on the curling wand, I'm keeping the temperature on its lowest setting. Aliana's hair is super fine, so it doesn't need any high temperatures. <laughs> the whole of your face. Why are you messing up my hair? Give me your no, hair. I'm fixing your hair. <laughs> so big for me. Okay, ready? Okay. Keep it on. Too <laughs> so big for me. You look like a doodle schnoodle pie. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave some love in our comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And we will see you guys on the next one. Bye, Bye guys. guys! Can I come back? Mm -hmm.